Hey traders, what's going on? Jamie Setley here. It is August 16th, 2016, and we're going to take a look at a crude oil chart. Uh, big move the last four days, up uh, over 11% actually the last four days. In fact, if I were to show you a rate of change chart, four day rate of change, moves like this uh, have happened I think five or six times over the last two years. And before that, uh, you've got to go way, way, way back. So, um, you know, we're at a level consistent uh, with what I would call kind of an important decision point, um, just a trend line, okay, off the highs from June, uh, you know, June 9th, June, June 24th, and we're trading right around that. You've also got uh, horizontal levels, okay, from uh, July, uh, mid-July, uh, the 712 high is 46.90, what's today's high, 46.57. Uh, so that's just above highs 46.28, which were on the 15th and 18th of uh, July. Um, you can look past, uh, I guess, that level as well, and you can see highs back on May 12th and uh, May 19th. So you do have, you know, a lot to get through here. Again, up 11% in four days. Uh, you know, extraordinary momentum here in the short term. Uh, but you know, this chart. You know, if you look at it, probably on a weekly, it's a little cleaner. Uh, you can see that you've got what looks to be like a big head and shoulders pattern. Okay, so this could end up kind of, you know, giving you the next major move to the upside in crude oil. It's a weekly chart, and I'm talking very big picture here. Um, but near term, you know, I would pay attention to. Uh, really right now uh, and if you start to get some consolidation or pullback over the next uh, several days uh, to weeks I'd pay attention to 43 bucks okay um, essentially 43 could be kind of viewed as you know where this acceleration started from okay you had uh, the May 10th low there you can see we broke below went higher $43 was resistance for several days Okay, until uh, last uh, last week, I guess that was Thursday the 11th. That's when you had the outside day breakout. Okay, so call it the scene of the crime, if you will. If you start to get consolidation slash uh, you know weakness, um, you know towards towards the end of the month, perhaps uh, you might see 43 come into play as a big support region. Okay. Um, so that's really what I'm watching for with crude. Again, this is all part of a much bigger setup that you know could launch a substantial advance in crude oil. Uh, just to give you an idea, you know, so let's call it 51. You know, down to 26 bucks. You know, you're talking basically a target of uh, you know 76, 77 dollars. Okay, if this breaks. If it doesn't happen over a short period of time, it probably takes a while. Obviously, that's a major move. Um, but you know, that's the implication from this big inverse head and shoulders pattern, which has not been completed yet. Okay, it's just a possibility at this point, but it's one worth uh, you know, I think having in your mind. Um, you know, so if, if you do start to see crude consolidate. Uh, make an area pattern of sorts. You can look for it to resolve potentially to the upside as part of you know an eventual breakout higher in crude oil. So that's it uh, for now. Again, if you apply this to FX to currencies, think of some of the uh, you know crude um, you know exporting countries. Uh, you know petro currencies, Canada, um, you know Russian ruble, peso, uh, Norway. Okay, so there's some interesting setups there. I mean, uh, you know, out of the majors, you think about dollar CAD. Uh, you might have a big wedge breakdown going on right now with dollar CAD, but you know, things could get a little tricky again uh, heading into the end of um, the end of August uh, with crude basically pressing into this big, you know, resistance trend line, horizontal levels, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, you know, might not be free to move or swing the market uh, all that much until. Uh, the end of this month, early September. Okay, so again, that's it. Hope this helps. And